And here we are once again in portrait. Yes, in portrait <laughs> mode, not landscape. <laughs> because Mark Zuckerberg and his friends at uh, Facebook said, no, no, you can't have landscape anymore. Look, the landscaping thing has become a big issue with us. So just so you're aware, uh, if you're watching this, uh, go, go over to our YouTube channel and go ahead and subscribe yeah. because we're going to start doing this stuff on YouTube. I mean, if Zuckerberg is so intent on making everybody a portrait, yeah. we're going to make him a thing of the past. Um, we'll be actually posting this little spiel here over on YouTube later. Yeah. So yeah. You can but see it'll us. be portrait, it'll so be it'll be portrait. right in the middle of the screen. And then there'll be the shading on either side. Yeah. So uh, before we get cranky. Good job, Mark. Yeah. Before we get too cranky, uh, that is Dallas. Hi. And at the end of this thumb uh, is me, Camo. And this is the National Access Pre-Show Facebook Live. Yes, which yeah. is about to become the Pre-Show YouTube Live. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, hey, I'm sorry, man. You know what? I'm sorry. Yeah. But, I mean, come on, Zuckerberg. Yeah. Get your S together. Yes. I think he listens to us all the time, although he doesn't show up. Maxine has showed up. She's watching. Well, I mean, first of all, yeah. for the, they've got privacy concerns, and they try to address those. And in addressing privacy concerns, they take landscape away yeah. from Facebook Live. Yeah. Oh, well. Good call, Zuckerberg. Yeah. God. Anyway. <laughs> He's just getting even because they made him testify in front of Congress. <laughs> <laughs> I know he looked like Oliver. <laughs> yeah, I had some wool, it, You know what? It looked like a kid with his first suit. Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what it looks like. Joe Costa is watching. Joe is half of Terabella. Hey! Which sets up... Terabella. Now, okay, that uh, yeah. this week's show, let's talk about it, because yep. uh, if we got half a Terabella watching, guess what, dude? You're the super pick this yep. week. Terabella is our super pick this week. They have a killer new song called Wild One. Yeah. It's on their brand new album, and the album release party is being held down on Demondrian. Uh, tomorrow night, Wednesday night. Demondrian so, is a street here in yeah. Nashville. You can always tell the people that are either new here yeah. or tourists that Demon Brun. Yeah, because yeah. it's if you look at the word, yeah. it's spelled Demon Brun. It looks German, yeah. but it's but French. It's Demondrian. Yeah. So yeah, so that's that's how you find out if someone's new to town. Yeah. If you be like, yeah, What's we're gonna we're gonna go down at Ten Roof, and they'll yeah. go like, oh, is that the one on Demon Brun? Yeah. And you're like, hey, yeah. newbie. No, I'm originally from Nashville. Let's go over <laughs> to Demon Brun. <laughs> Right. So, Tara Bella, well done, guys. It's yeah, a great, great single, album. killer single. Great so, we're going to be featuring killed, yeah. that as our super pick. Now, if you remember, when we did a Facebook Live a little while ago, they actually did that song acoustically. Yes, they did. And uh, they've been also on our um, podcast, too. So. Yeah, have we done that interview on the podcast yet where they play? I, I think we did. Yeah. yeah. We'll have to. I, they're all blurring together. Yeah, I know. We did. <laughs> Talking to so many people. Yeah. But either way, Terabella is our super yeah. pick this week. Well done, guys. Yes. Uh, okay, our, our Texas turnaround. Yeah. It's uh, Scott Wiggins featuring Jake, Jake Ward. Ward. And the song was written by one of the guys in uh, Statesboro Review. Oh, okay. So, um, and it's a killer song. And I, I have kind of a soft spot for Scott because he's doing it all himself. He's, yeah. He's emailing radio stations and sending it out all himself. And he's very good. The song debuted at number 109 on the Texas chart. Wow. For an indie guy and doing it all himself, right on. Yeah, know, so. well done. That's a, man, that's a, you don't realize how much work is involved in doing that until you try yeah. to do it all yourself. Because yeah. you got to think about it. Standard, like if you're dealing with even, even a smaller record label, not even one mm -hmm. of the majors, when you're dealing with uh, a record label that has a single that's going to radio... Minimum, there are four, five, six, seven, eight, eight to ten people yeah. involved in just that single. So, and each one of them have full days of work. Yeah. So, when you're just one guy doing it, and yeah, you're the artist, Scott, yeah, hats off, Iron Man, dude, That's wow, it. and it's working for you. Yeah. So, well right. done, man. Well done, yeah. Scott Wiggins featuring Jake Ward. That is our our uh, Texas turnaround this week. That's right. And who's our interview? Our interview this week is cool. Uh, now, we've talked, we, we did an entire topic uh, in our podcast at one point about these guys because some dork wrote an article uh, about calling them band. a fake band, saying that Shane McAnally put them together and yeah. you know, whatever. Uh, Shane McAnally is a massive songwriter in country music and is a very successful, very good, yeah. uh, but had written some Texas style, swing well, style they, songs they, with a very. They had a vision of. Yeah. Um, Shane and, and a couple of his other writers had this vision of, hey, let's write stuff for 
a 70s style country band. Yeah. And maybe one day one will come along and they'll cut the songs. And there's Midland on the other side saying, man, we want to do the 70s vibe, but we need songs. And the two came together in kind of a perfect storm. Yeah, it really was a perfect storm. Susan Giacona is watching. Hey, Susan. Hey, Susan. Uh, so the girls here be... now, we can't be nasty. <laughs> be nice. So um, Midland is going to be our interview this week yeah. because... One, they've got uh, a new single called, called Burnout. 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 Burnout, is it Burnout? Yeah, yeah. Burnout. Uh, and it's called Burnout, and uh, it's just entered the chart, but it's jumping quick. Yeah. Uh, but So we're going to talk to them a little bit for that, and also because Midland just won the ACM Award for, for New Vocal Group of the Year, yeah. uh, which is a, that's a huge deal. Yeah. I mean, these, these guys have literally been around for about a year, year and a half. Yeah. So, uh, I mean, know, as, uh, uh, in the public eye. Yeah, in the public eye. Right, they've been around a lot longer. But, I mean, so we've known about them because they've started to release stuff internationally um, for the past year and a half or so, maybe two years. So for them to win so quickly and get into this position, and, and everything they put out sounds fantastic. Yeah. It's and awesome. It's, it's cool. It's like, it's almost like, because I was there in the 70s, it's almost like listening to stuff that came out then. It's got still, you know, modern production and all that kind yeah. of stuff, but... But the style is pure sound. They've got right? this blend to their yeah. sound that, to me, is nobody else is doing. Nobody else is doing yeah. it now. But like to me, it's reminiscent of an of an early Alabama. How when they came out, they oh, had yeah. this very specific vocal tight, blend, tight and as bit. soon as they started singing, it didn't matter what the song was. It was like, oh, Alabama! I yeah, know these guys. You knew it exactly. And Midland is the same way. These guys yeah. just start. His the lead vocals are yeah. so distinctive and so perfect. Man, these guys are great. So yeah. we're going to talk to them this week. Uh, a little bit about their ACM win, uh, kind of their comeuppance and how they got to where they're 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 uh, they're at. So yeah. it's a it's a interesting conversation. So we're going to do that this week cool. uh, in our interview. Midland, Midland, cool. Yes. Sounds like fun. Let's let's join the show. Yay! <laughs> Bruce Schwartz is watching. Uh, Bruce is a radio guy down in Texas. Hey, Bruce. Hey, Bruce. Love you. What's up, brother? Um, okay, here you you handle the portrait yeah. side of the. Phone yes, there. I'll make sure your portrait is very portraity. Yeah. Uh, this Thursday, Nashville Access, Facebook Live, the MV2 sessions, live from MV2 Entertainment on Music Row. Two guests this week. First one at 10 o'clock is Nathan Kalish. Uh, and he's put out an album that's getting a lot of reviews. It's kind of a country Americana thing with a tip of the hat to psychedelic folk and rock. So it's a cool blend. Um, and then at 10.30... Speaking of Texas, James Land is going to be our guest. We had him booked a while ago, but he ended up having to get a co-write or something, uh, which is totally cool. Um, so he's going to be guesting on the show this week. He's had a bunch of songs that hit number one on the Texas charts. He was also one of the guys when, when the hurricane hit in Texas. He got a boat and went down to the coast and was helping rescue people and delivering supplies. Yeah. So he's a really good guy and a hell of a songwriter and artist, too. So uh, it's great. To, and he's a friend. So it'll be fun to have him on the show. Uh, we'll probably have more fun with him making fun of him <laughs> and him making fun of me back and forth. Don't forget the Nashville Access podcast this week. The podcast uh, will be up probably today. It's up. Oh, okay. It's up. Um, our, our artist is Bonnie Montgomery, and we did a Facebook Live with her a little while ago. She's from Searcy, Arkansas, and uh, she's a lot of fun, kind of quirky. Kind Good, of what a great personality. Yeah, I yeah. mean, she and she plays, too. She does, yeah. she does a tune yeah, in there, and it's yeah. she's good. She's yeah. really good. And we talk in the podcast, we talk about the misconception that women don't want to hear female artists played on the radio. And we address that whole bucket of nonsense. Uh, so we started with nonsense, with Zuckerberg not letting us do portrait or uh, landscape mode, that, that version. <laughs> and we're ending with nonsense about people thinking that females don't want to hear females on the radio. Nonsense. Nonsense. Ridiculous. That's the, that's, today's show is brought to you by the word nonsense. nonsense. And the number two. <laughs> Ah, 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 that's the count. <laughs> um, what else is going on, man? We got uh, a ton of stuff that coming up. Yeah, we there's a whole bunch. Like uh, we, you know, we're we're into this point now uh, where. We're, Evolve we're, or die. Yeah, we're at an expansion point yeah. for the company itself. So, like our 
our podcast, we're kind of we're, we're we're just beginning to talk and get into the talks about revamping it. Yeah, uh, we're going to add some elements, change some things around, change the way it's structured and everything. We don't know yet. We don't know what yet because the boss hasn't right given us. We, the We basically got a new operations director. Yeah. Yeah. That we kind of brought in because they're they're really really good at what they do and, and they've had a lot of success in the past. So we she said, came into the office humming David Bowie's song, <laughs> change it, and both of us are like, what? What? Neither one of us big fans of change. So we're we're in the process of doing that. Also, uh, I I can't stress enough how much how important the YouTube, YouTube. channel is about yeah. to become. So if you're not a subscriber to our YouTube channel. Uh, please do go over to YouTube. Type, we're at Nashville Access. We're what yep. is it? YouTube.com front slash Nashville Access. Just like everything else. Yeah, just like everything else. So if you go and find that, go ahead and subscribe there because we are about to, over the course of the next three months, mm -hmm. uh, we are about to really start beefing up that channel. And we're going to have weekly content. Lots of content. Uh, we, well, there'll be some weekly major content and little content throughout the week as well. So Things like, just to, to give you a lead in with that, when we do the Facebook Lives, usually before we start the interview, you know, the artist will bring out their guitar, tune up, and we kind of goof around. So we'll be showing you that. So it gives you kind of a behind the scenes as we set up for an interview. Um, and it'll be really artist driven on that. You won't see so much of me. You'll just hear my voice. Um, but it's going to be fun. I think it'll be a, a lot of fun. And we want to hear from you too. That goes for everything. The radio show, the podcast, Facebook lives, anything we do on YouTube. We want to hear from you because we wouldn't be doing this if y'all weren't there to listen or watch it. So uh, please be involved with it. It's your show. Yeah. If you like something, tell us. If you don't like something, definitely tell us. And then we'll block you. <laughs> <laughs> No, we don't like that. You're not blocked. immediately. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, first we'll unfriend you, and then we'll block you. <laughs> so it's like, hey, I think, am I not following them? <laughs> No, seriously, we do want to hear what you think. Good, bad, ugly, whatever. Uh, you know, because we, we, we really want to super serve what you want. So yeah. let us know what that is. And uh, we're really putting a push on getting radio stations here in the U.S. Yep. So if you have a local favorite radio station, wherever you are, that you think would love the radio show, uh, shoot me a private message to, to Nashville Access on Facebook, and, and we'll reach out to them and see if they want it. Absolutely. Yeah, we're going to oh, start we'll expanding inside the U.S. border. Yep. So, wee doggy. So, yep. we've got some changes coming up. We've got some additions that are going to be happening. And changes. Ch -ch 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 changes. Yeah. All right. Well, let's see. Let's, let's show uh, the big boy. There you go. The Jumbotron, the little, the little, the, the, the little, little Tron. Tron. <laughs> Mini the big, Tron. The big Tron. Yeah, so, anyway, that's what it is. Uh, oh, wait, Copyright right. Sony products. Uh, yeah, so let's, all right, so, anyway, that's that. Oh, yeah, then there's the, the big lights. You and, caught me with my yay, coffee. Yay, coffee. All right. Well, that's good. I guess that's it for this week, man. Let's go ahead yeah. and make us a radio show, Let's and then uh, we got some other work to do because we've got all these new duties. Yes, work. <laughs> we got into this kind of stuff so we didn't have yeah, to. Yeah, no, we got into it so we didn't have to work, and now we get a new ops director, and she's like, work! Yeah. Work, 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 So we're going to be doing a whole lot of that. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> all right. All right. Y'all have a good week. Make sure you join us for Facebook Lives on Thursday. Listen to the radio show, catch the podcast, and connect with us everywhere on social media at Nashville Access. Yes, thank you. Goodbye.